Welcome to part four of our Solid Edge Wiring and Harness Design blog series. This video will introduce you to verification and design rule checks. This software features built in verification and design rule checks to validate design, eliminating errors earlier in the flow. Design Rule Checks is a set of tools that allow users to validate specific design rules. You can run design rule checks in the background while you are editing a design. They identify errors in the design. Specific checks are available for each design application. Design Rule Checks will list both errors and warnings in the check tab. This package also contains a built-in simulation tool. The simulation tool allows you to perform various tasks. For example, you can test that the circuit you have drawn works correctly. You can simulate individual failure modes within the circuit. You can debug the behavior of component models. And you can record a scenario consisting of a sequence of events. Let's have a look at some of these tools in the Solid Edge Wiring and Harness Design Package. If you viewed part one of this blog series, you may recall that I used the design rule checks to verify the validity of my wire schematic. Using this tool, I was able to quickly and easily determine that there was a gap between the component and the end of one of my wires. Here the design rule checks allowed me to capture this error early in the design process. And if you recall, it was a very easy fix to create a valid wire diagram. In part two of this blog series, I used the design rule checks on my wire harness. In this scenario, I got a series of warnings underneath my check tab. Using the built-in automate tools, I easily resolved all of these issues. Specific checks are available for each design application. Shown here is an 11-page PDF document that I created from the Solid Edge Wiring and Harness Design documentation. This lists the design rule checks that are available for each design application. To view this in more detail, you can either pause the video at each page, or you can use the contact information available at the end of this video to contact Design Fusion and request a copy of this PDF. As you can see from this list, I've only demonstrated a few of the design rule checks that are available in our different applications. As useful as these design rule checks are, we do have other tools for validation. I'll use this simple circuit to demonstrate simulation by performing some dynamic simulation and analysis on it. In the design browser, I'll switch to the analysis tab and click on the background simulation button. When this simulation begins, notice that the default color is cyan. This indicates that the circuit is inactive. I'll hover the cursor over the switch and close it, but it's still inactive. This is because my lamp isn't grounded. I'll insert a ground on the fly with a dynamic simulation still running. As I route the wire, you'll see that my circuit has become active, indicating that a current is flowing. There's minimal information on the lamp, so I'll go back into analysis and invoke numeric simulation, where the wire cross-sectional areas and the resistance and so on are brought into play. Now when I look at the lamp, a lot more useful information is provided. Keep in mind we've just shown a few tools for verification inside Solid Edge Wiring and Harness Design. Want to learn more about Solid Edge Wiring and Harness Design? Contact your account manager or visit us at www.designfusion.com. You can also call our head office toll free 
at 1-888-567-3933.